Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In this video, we'll teach you how to set up Jscape MFT server so it can automatically move files on the remote server after an automated download. Here's an illustration of what we're trying to do. As soon as the automated download from our trading partner completes, that's step one, we'd like the downloaded files on the trading partner's side to be moved to another directory. So basically, this video is all about the configurations needed to perform step two. In order to follow this particular video, you would need the following elements on your Jscape MFT server. One, a Jscape MFT server trading partner. We've already created a video demonstrating how to create a trading partner, so I suggest you click the link that appears now to watch that video. Either that, or you can click the link in the description. And two, we also need a trigger designed to perform a scheduled automatic download with a trading partner. We've also created a video corresponding to that task, so do click the link to watch that video. If you're done watching those two videos, you may proceed. The first step is to create a trigger with external file download event type. Create a new trigger, give the new trigger a name, for example, move remote files after SFTP download, and then select the external file download event type. The external file download event is thrown each time a file is downloaded as a result of a recently fired download trigger action. Examples of such trigger actions are the trading partner file download trigger action and the trading partner regex file download trigger action. The next step would be to create a trigger condition that would narrow your trigger down to a specific download or specific set of downloads. If your managed file transfer server is running in a production environment, chances are you'll have several downloads going on at any given time. In order to make sure the trigger we're creating here only acts on a specific set of downloads, we need to put together a set of trigger conditions that would filter out all unrelated downloads. For example, we can tell Jscape MFT server to act only on those downloads that take place after 8 p.m. on the first day of each month. You can refine your filter even further by making use of other variables such as server IP, the IP address or host name of the server from which the file was downloaded, server port, the port number of the server from which the file was downloaded, bytes, the number of bytes in the file, file, the local file name of the file that was downloaded, local path for the local path of the file that was downloaded, and many others. Once you're done, click on the next button. Now it's time to set up the trigger action that would move the freshly downloaded files to another folder on the remote server. The trigger action we'll need for moving the files on the trading partner's remote server is the trading partner rename file trigger action. Expand the action drop-down list box and select the trigger action we just mentioned. Click OK when done. The fourth step is to define the parameters for moving the files on the remote server. When the parameters dialog appears, the first setting you'll see is the partner drop-down list box. Expand that list and select the trading partner you have downloaded files from. Next, specify the remote directory that contains the source files you just downloaded, for example, forward slash for download. After that, enter the name variable into the source field. This variable contains the local file name of the file that was most recently downloaded, which, unless you change it during the download, will be the same as the file name in the remote server. Lastly, specify the destination file. This value should consist of the destination virtual directory on the remote server and the file name the file should take after it has been moved. If you specify a name, then you would have renamed the file, hence the name trading partner rename file. In our case, we only want to move the file, not rename it, so we just use the name variable again. Click the OK button and all succeeding OK buttons until you're back at the main screen. That's it. Now you know how to configure Jscape MFT server so it can automatically move files on the remote server after an automated.